Hey everyone, today we're going to be doing a quick unboxing and overview of this Thermalrite Peerless Assassin 120 SE CPU cooler. We'll open it up, show you what's in the box, and go over some of the basic specs. If you are interested in this cooler or any of the components I'm using in this current build, I will have them linked below in the description. Let's go ahead and dive right into it. So quickly here on the Peerless Assassin box, a couple specs I did want to point out to you. It's the dual tower layout, so dual radiators, six anti-gravity heat pipes, and a nickel-plated soldered copper base here at the bottom. Now on the back there's quite a few specs. I'm not going to go over them all here. You can pause it if you want to have a closer look. But the fans, 120 grams, and the noise level is equal to or less than 25.6 decibels, and these are a four-pin PWM and the heatsink itself, 750 grams, and this is compatible with Intel LGA 115X, 1200 and 1700, and AMD AM4, and on the website it shows AM5 as well. Let's go ahead and open this cooler up. So I've got this all unpackaged here. Let's go ahead and show you what you get in the box because there's quite a bit of it. First off, you've got your instruction manual and your registration here. So um, that's right in there. It shows you all the parts and how to put this all together. In here, there's quite a bit of accessories. So you've got your standoff kits and screws for mounting this. You've got your AM4 and AM5, clearly labeled 1700 and 115X and 1200 series standoffs there. So that's all in the box. You've got your mounting hardware as well. So these are for your Intel mounting. And then you've got your AMD mounting right there. So these are the brackets that you'll need. It does conveniently as well come with thermal paste. So thermal right thermal paste there. So that's nice that it comes with that. You've got your Intel back plates. So there's an LGA 1700 back plate and an LGA 115X and 1200 back plate. So those are there. They've got a little bit of sticky tape on them conveniently. And then there's a fan splitter here as well. So this is the four pin on the one end. And then on this end here, you can see it's a four pin on the one side and a three pin on the other. So a little splitter there. And you've got your fans here as well. So again, these fans, 120 grams, a equal to or less than 25.6 decibels. So that's what they look like there. They're black in color, nice little fans. And these again are the four pin PWM fan connectors right there. So there's two of those. Now they do come with these little metal clips as well. So these clips go onto the fans and mount them to the radiator. There's four of those, so two for each fan. And then the dual radiators themselves, it says thermal right right here. I really like this kind of saw blade pattern around the perimeters in here. It looks really sharp with the metal studs and the black kind of back plates here. It looks really sharp. That'll look awesome in a build. Just for sizing, for your reference, 125 millimeters in length, 110 millimeters in width. And the height on this is 155 is the height on there. So that's the sizing in millimeters. And again, this weighs 750 grams. You can see the six heat pipes down there going right down to the pure copper nickel plated base. So that's what it looks like down there. And you can see the connectors here as well. So there's two big screws for connecting it to your motherboard. Really cool CPU, cooler, radiator. Excited to get this installed in my system. So I hope this quick unboxing and overview of the Thermalrite Peerless Assassin 120 SE did give you value. If it did, make sure you give this video a thumbs up. Also remember to connect with me on social media and subscribe here on YouTube. And if you are interested in learning how to install this CPU cooler, I will have that video linked in the description. Thank you so much for watching and until next time, take care.